everybody, Girl Got Game here. Welcome back to Locked Heart, where we are going to try and do Soul's normal route, first of all. And I am really, really hoping that I don't have to break poor Lily's heart, because she's adorable and deserves love and happiness. But I guess I'm going to have to break her heart at some point. <laughs> eh. Alright, well, this is the first choice in the game. Last time we went inside and we met Royal first of all, so I thought I'd try some different options and see if I can run into Soul maybe, first of all? I don't know. Don't know if that's a thing or not if I'm like shoehorned into, shoehorned, that's the word I was looking for, shoehorned into going a certain common route or what. But let's, uh, let's try staying outside and see what happens. It's rude to go inside a house without permission, after all. Put my mouse down there. Especially if said house had the possibility of being haunted or cursed with who knows what. I sat down and hugged myself. The rain continued to pour, the static sound almost lulling me to sleep. Just how long was I supposed to wait? <sighs> a yawn escaped from my mouth. My body had reached its limit. Since I was stranded anyway, I decided it might not be so bad to rest my eyes for a few minutes. At least just until the rain stopped. I knew it wasn't the safest idea to sleep in an unfamiliar territory. Especially during a rainstorm in the middle of a forest by a cursed house, but I was exhausted from traveling. What should I do? Okay, well I just saved, so if everything goes awry I can come back. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I could just go with the first option, and if Dion shows up, I can just <laughs> rewind time and uh, stay awake instead. I kind of feel like Sol would be the one to wake you up uh, easily or gently or something. We'll see. I'll just rest for a few minutes. I don't think something bad will happen to me while I nap, right? As much as I wanted to stay awake, my mind blackened and my consciousness slipped away. Certainly, nothing should happen. Oh, we're gonna dream about Mother. Aura, I want you to take care of this for me. A broken locket? Yes, please hold on to it. Until the day you meet that person. Huh? Who do you mean, that person? Goodbye. Mother? Mother! Please, don't leave me! Mother! Oh! <laughs> well, they went from, uh, heartfelt emotional sadness to punching soul in the boob? All right, well, at least I found soul. I reached out and grabbed something soft and fluffy. It fit within the palm of my hand and I couldn't help but squeeze. Oh, well, this is a reversal of roles. Was mother's hand really this soft? I like how he just looks a little bit concerned but doesn't have the heart to like remove her hand. Pardon me, my lady. A gentle voice entered my dream. It wasn't my mother's voice. Ugh. But I think you are squeezing me a bit too hard. The voice pulled me from my sleep. I blinked away the darkness to see what appeared to be a yellow teddy bear standing in front of me. My hand was wrapped around its torso, squishing it enough that my fingers were indented in the plush fabric. Startled, I let it go. <laughs> coughed a little, but looked up to me moments after with a smile implanted on its face. Eh? Good evening, my lady. Ah! It talked! Unconsciously, I poked its cheeks in bewilderment. This is the first time I've seen a magical bear. A magical bear? You are one, right? Wait, what are you doing in a place like this anyway? Where's your owner? Well, I see. You also got lost just like me, right, Mr. Bear? 
<laughs> Mr. Bear. Well, it's an improvement from Mama Bear. Not exactly. I stretched my arms, finally noticing the rain had stopped. Exactly how long was I asleep? Even the clouds were gone, revealing a crescent moon shining above. Now I could get out of this creepy forest and leave this strange mansion. Where are you going, my lady? To Glendale, the next village over. I was only sheltering myself from the rain. That's why I'm here. Since the rain has stopped, I can continue my journey. Uh. The yellow bear grabbed the hem of my dress and tried to pull me towards the entrance. Please, my lady, stay for the night. You can always continue your journey tomorrow. The bear kept tugging on my dress, urging me to go inside. W wait but that mansion is cursed, isn't it? <laughs> Mr. Bear chuckled at me. Then he smiled. It was a tad bit sad for some reason, but I didn't get a chance to ask why. The mansion is not exactly cursed. Rather, its residents are. Residents? There are people living here? A shiver ran down my spine. Y y you mean that the Locks family is still- The door flew open. I flinched back, but the bear did not didn't release my dress. There you are, Lord Soul. A voice within the darkness spoke, and a pair of shiny ivory eyes appeared. Eek! Ah, Royal. Sorry, were you looking for me? A large brown teddy bear stepped out and gave Mr. Bear a curt nod. You suddenly disappeared. Lily became worried when you didn't return, Lord Soul. My apologies. I wanted to tend to our guest. Two teddy bears? Wait, these bears live in this mansion? The large bear looked at me. Oh. What's a human doing here? What's a human doing here? As if you- Man, Royal, it's only been seven years, come on. You used to be human. I'm not sure myself. I found her sleeping out here. Suspicious. He glared hard at me. I didn't know cute teddy bears were even capable of that expression. I instinctively took a step back. Calm down, Royal. You're scaring our guest. A guest? Where? Aha, I guessed correctly. A small white teddy bear suddenly popped up from behind the door and I looked at and looked at me from head to toe. So cute. There you are, Dion. How strange. This is the first time we have had a guest. After such a long time, I wondered if it were even possible for outsiders to reach us. Large, medium, and small teddy bears? You're exactly like a papa, mama, and baby bear. I couldn't help smiling at my idea. <clears throat> what are you talking about, girl? Uh... <clears throat> Suddenly, the light inside the mansion turned on. I flinched in surprise. Finally got the lights working again! A girl's voice shouted. Are there more teddy bears inside? And here I was, expecting this place to be filled with ghosts. Ah, seems Lily was successful. Let us go in, my lady. I'm sure that you are cold after staying out here. I hesitated at first. Considering the options that I currently had, there weren't many. I nodded and followed the yellow bear inside. Here's your tea, my lady. I stared at the ragged doll in front of me as she placed a cup of tea on the table. How would you even be able to lift that? Like... Ragdolls don't have a lot of substance to them. Three bears and a ragged doll. The deluxe mansion seemed to consist of magical toys. No humans had come to greet me yet. Please, my lady, do tell us what you were doing out here by yourself. Prompted by his gentle voice, I explained how I came upon the mansion. Ah, alright. So we did that. We got punched by Miss Maria. Um, right, I guess... So they are going to go and discuss. So I'm not going to talk with either of you. I'll just wait. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. 
It's not that I didn't want to talk to Papa Bear, or Baby Bear, but this whole situation had me confused and a little scared. I glanced around the foyer, admiring the decor. It was a beautiful mansion, yet a melancholic atmosphere lingered in the air. Before I could think too much about things, Mama Bear approached me. Sorry for making you wait, my lady. Are you ready to hear your fate, child? The cute cat plush's voice was so sinister I couldn't help but shiver. P please don't eat me, Miss Cute Cat Plush. Her fluffy fur seemed to bristle. She glared at me with slitted eyes. What did you call me? I'm sorry, I won't call you cute anymore. I blurted everything out in one breath. I've had a huge adoration for cats, but meeting this plush might just leave me traumatized. Miss Maria, you're scaring her. I haven't even begun to get scary, so... That smile. Oh gosh, I'm doomed! Now, now. Mama Bear ging gingerly patted my leg as if trying to calm my fears. Anyway, we have no idea how you were even able to get here, but for now, you are welcome to stay here with us. We finally get to have some eye candy around here. Oh, Dion. Baby Bear whistled before grinning at me from the chair he was sitting on. Eh? Your tastes are as bad as ever, Dion. This girl has zero appeal. <laughs> you know... I swear I already heard you say that about someone before. Oh, is that about gold? Shut up. A bright red blush crawled onto Papa Bear's cheeks. I would have thought it was cute had he not just said I was unappealing. Excuse me, I'm right here, you know. Gentlemen, please. This is no way to treat a lady. At least someone here actually treats me like one. Please, my lady, allow me to escort you to your room. I appreciate your hospitality, Mama Bear, but I can't stay here. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Mama Bear, oh, that really suits you, dear brother. Where'd you get that cool nickname, love? Because of your sizes? I pointed at each of them from biggest to smallest. He's Papa Bear, there's Mama Bear, and your Baby Bear. Just like one happy family. Ah, oh, a trio made in heaven. Baby Bear nudged Papa Bear, which only irritated him further. Shut up, Baby Bear. I don't mind being called that, especially if a cute girl like her says it. It only means that I'm youthful, unlike you. Wow, get wrecked. Will you two stop acting like children, for heaven's sake? Gosh. Right, yeah? Okay. Well, that was enjoyable. I'm glad I, <laughs> I did all of that. Okay, so... Um, what now? Uh... Well, last time when we left, we, um, we got onto Royal's route from there, and I think if we had picked a couple of different options, we might have got onto Dion's, because we had the option to either, like, look at the pebbles or go with Dion into the house, I think. So maybe if we stay, that'll be more a soul thing. I could try it. I didn't do it last time, so let's see. I had no idea what they were saying was true, but the deluxe curse was definitely real, and they had no reason to lie to me. I was a stranger in their home. If they were going to lie, I didn't think it would be to make me stay. A part of me badly wanted to leave. I didn't want to wait any longer to fulfill my dream of being a chef. But... If I died because of some curse, I definitely wouldn't fulfill my dream. Even though it made me sad, I made my decision. I'll stay. Sol breathed out a sigh of relief. Oh. Thank goodness. A very wise decision, my lady. I'm curious, though. What is this barrier Miss Maria mentioned? 
Is it like an invisible wall that zaps you or something? Mama Bear gave me a sideways glance. He sighed. Huh. Yes. Something like that. Then how come I was able to go here in the first place? All of us are quite puzzled as well. You're the first guest we've had in years, so we can't answer that. Perhaps... there's a reason why you're here. A reason? Yes. As if he just realized the time, he began to prod me over to a certain direction. Oh, it's getting late. Please, allow me to escort you to your room. What?! Oh no, it's already beginning, isn't it? The small, ragged doll left between Mama Bear and me. Her arms were spread wide as if she was protecting him. Protecting him from what? No! I won't let you trouble my prince any further! Oh no, we're really getting off to a bad start. Lily's reaction surprised me. She'd been so soft-spoken and gentle since I came here. Your... prince? Ah. Uh... A dark blush spread across her face. She seemed mortified as her words sunk into the air between us. That, 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 that I, 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 I shall be the one to escort her to our room. Are you sure, Lady Lily? I thought you still have things to do. I do? I mean, I am done now. This is no trouble. <laughs> I looked at the ragged doll, curious at how flustered she'd become. I wondered if she acted like this around Mama Bear a lot. <gasps> exactly, like a girl in love. I will steal him away. <laughs> I don't want this. Don't make me do this. A ragged doll falling in love with a teddy bear would have made for the cutest love story ever. <laughs> Agreed. Soul only smiled and thanked her. It seemed he was completely oblivious to poor Lily's feelings. I do wonder about that. Please, this way, my lady. Sh sure We walked along the hallway in silence. It didn't take long for the awkwardness to set in. She hadn't even spoken a single word since we left the bears. Could she be angry at me? Um, excuse me, Lily? Hello? When I called out, she came to an abrupt stop and spun around. Her expression was as hard as stone. I cannot believe my prince has almost fallen into your trap! Wait, what? Oh. Poor Lily. <laughs> Lily! <laughs> My poor Lily! Don't think I didn't hear about you embracing my poor prince on the porch, squeezing him so tightly he was gasping for air. A strained smile pulled at my mouth. Oh, that was... You have taken advantage of my prince's kindness and seduced him. He even offered to take you to a room. Alone! What evil deeds will you do once you have had them all to yourself? Eh? N no. I cannot let you take my prince's purity like that. I cannot allow it. Lily glared at me with such ferocity that I stepped back and frantically waved my hands in front of me. Lily, please, you have the wrong idea about everything. Please, calm down. You cannot deceive me! I had no doubt that this doll would leap at me at any moment. Eh? I will not let you take my prince! <sighs> I crouched down, kneeling before the infuriated doll. He's a teddy bear, Lily. It's true that I think he's cute. Lily's shoulder went up. I quickly continued before she did attack. But it's because I think all plush toys are cute. My prince is not a toy! I meant it literally. You all are. <laughs> Lily slumped immediately, as if she'd somehow forgotten that she and the others were cursed within toy bodies. I felt bad for her, seeing her so dejected. 
Even without her human body, her feelings towards Mama Bear were probably the same as when they were human. Have you told him? Told him what? You like him, right? I gave Lily a sweet, teasing smile. The fabric in her cheeks lost color. Oh no. What? 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 How, how, how did you know that? Are you psychic? I didn't let the giggle leave my chest, just in case it might upset her. She was adorable when she stuttered. To be frank, you're very, very obvious. Ah! Uh, no! <laughs> Pressing her hands to her embarrassed face, Lily fled the hallway and disappeared. <laughs> Maybe we should have waited until we actually got to our room. W wait I remained there, dumbstruck. She hadn't even told me what room was to be mine. A mansion filled with talking toys. Why do I feel like things will only get crazier soon? I guess we'll just hope for the best. Oh. Well, this is a new place. Hm. I fidgeted, trying to stand still while three teddy bears examined me head to toe. <laughs> Flashback. Lady Aura, I have a favor to ask of you. Hmm? If it's all right, I want to make a dress for you. Uh, uh, um, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to like find the words that like flew through my brain and all that's coming out is ums and ahs, but okay, I think what I'm trying to say is you want to make me a dress with a blushy face, I might add, when Lily has been hoping for that for seven years and you never once offered to make one for her? Not once? Not once did you get bored of making doll dresses for your sister and think to make something for Lily? Okay. Well, I maybe he maybe he's just not that into her and he didn't want to give her the wrong impression. You know? Sometimes guys are nice and they're like, I'm not I don't really like you that way. I don't want to break your heart though, but I don't want to give you the wrong impression either. Maybe he likes Maybe he just, like, fell for her right away. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Let's just continue. What? Sol began to fidget, his little paws pushing against one another. You see, I designed clothes, and it has been a long time since I last made one for a person. Not only was Sol a prince, but a prince that could make clothes. It was a rare thing to even think about. I stared at Sol, fascinated, and tried to imagine him sewing. I thought about his favor for a while, but then again, I needed a distraction to keep my mind busy from thinking too much about my current situation. Alright, when we were on Royals Route, we just moped for, for days. If you don't mind me being your model, then I'll gladly do it. End of flashback. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous as a tape measure told three males my body shape. Oh, it'll only get worse. Even if they were teddy bears, it was kind of embarrassing. Perfect! Finally got the measurements for you. All right. Sol hopped down from a chair, rolling up his measuring tape. It had been five days since I arrived at the cursed mansion of the Deluxe family. And every time I woke up, I still hoped that everything I discovered was just a dream. I will never forget you, my dearest hopes and dreams. <sighs> I let out a long sigh just as I felt something heavy befall, befall onto my chest. I hope we'll encounter each other again before the afterlife. <laughs> Over dramatic much? The soul I saw today was completely different from the usual persona he showed everyone. Right now, he seemed exactly like a child with a new toy. So I'm the toy, then. 
You better make sure that her dress is as cute as her. Of course! A beautiful lady only deserves the best. Stop it, you two. You're flattering me too much. We're only saying the truth, my lady. <laughs> and then, the one with a dose of reality. <laughs> You're both exaggerating. I looked over at Grumpy Royal, sitting at the foot of my bed with his arms crossed. He was always so blunt. Dion tisked at Royal, waving a paw at him. Tisk tisk. Royal, royal, royal. A beautiful person like Aura wearing fine clothing is a remarkable sight. You clearly don't know how to appreciate real beauty. Like I've said before, you have bad taste. Hey, don't you know it's cruel for a gentleman to tell a woman that she's not beautiful? I didn't say that she's ugly. You just indirectly said so. My smile started to crack and I felt my eyebrow began to twitch. My self-esteem couldn't take much more of this. Come on, you two. You're making Lady Aura uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm out of here. Royal jumped from my bed and strode out of the room. Why were you here, anyway? I wanted to tell him off for being so grumpy all that time, but that seemed like an exercise in futility, since we're not on his route. And you, brother, I thought Miss Maria told you to tend to the garden. I'm a white teddy bear, dear brother. Do you think I'll let myself get soiled with dirt? Dion's tone of voice seemed lighthearted, but I couldn't help feeling that tension was forming in the room. Besides, it's hard taking care of my soft, silky fur. It requires high maintenance. <sighs> Sol turned away from Dion and make made notes on his papers. Tell that to Miss Maria. No way. That demon will surely eat me alive. That's why I'm expecting you to cover for me. Sol flinched and turned around. He looked exasperated. Even his teddy bear appearance didn't hide what looked like unhappiness. <sighs> I've been covering for you for many years, big brother. Isn't it about time for you to accept your responsibilities? It was Dion's turn to flinch this time. Wow, I'm get all the dirty laundry's getting aired. Sol shook his head. It seemed like he wanted to say something, but he kept quiet. Dion frowned and crossed his arms. You know, Sol, you ought to be yourself. What do you mean? We're the only ones left here, yet you act like things haven't changed. Sol flinched again and he shook a little. I wasn't wrong about it this time. He looked depressed. I know we look like them now, but you're not a toy, Soul. You can be whoever you want now. And I... I miss the old Soul. I looked at Soul, then at Dion. I didn't understand what they were talking about. Even though it was my room, I felt like I was eavesdropping on something I shouldn't. Ow. Why does my chest feel tight all of a sudden? It's... it's gold. Twinging at her poor brothers. I reached up to my chest, my hand touching the rusty locket my mother gave me. Anyway, I'd better go now before the demon sees me here. Dion saluted us before strolling out of the room. Huh. The tension started to subside now that Dion had left. Must be nice to live carefree while others clean up after you. You're supposed to be the heir, not me. Sol spoke in such a low voice that I didn't quite hear everything he said. I did get the last part, though. I had heard before that Sol was the next heir, but Dion was older than him. Why wasn't he the next heir? I hope you don't mind me asking. But why is Dion not the heir? I'm not saying that you're not suited to become the heir or anything. Sol smiled at me, but it wasn't the same smile he had on earlier. This one felt tired and forced. Brother was indeed supposed to be the heir, but father had some... difficulties handling him. He was too irresponsible and carefree. Sol struggled with the last word. 
I didn't disagree, given what I'd seen of Dion since coming here. He complimented me a lot, but he acted like he didn't have a care in the world. He spent more time dodging chores than doing them. Sol shook his head as if to clear the air, changing the subject. Anyway, I am very excited to design the dress for you. I didn't dare to further ask him about their trouble with Dion. I'll find that out later. All I have made since then are the ones that Gold wears every day. As a doll, that is. That's why I'm really looking forward to this. Sol's shoulders slumped and he looked outside the window with a distant expression on his face. Father was not pleased when he found out I enjoyed designing clothes. He thought it was inappropriate for his son to like such a thing, especially as the heir to the Deluxe family. Sol's smile remained wistful for a moment. I tried to think of something uplifting to say, but the words were stuck in my throat. By the way, what kind of dress do you prefer? I decided not to pursue the tension from before. Hmm. Um. You know, I'm thinking something sexy is probably something that Dion would appreciate, but I think Sol is a man of, uh, or teddy bear at the moment, of refined elegance. I would go for this. I'm thinking that this will probably go normal. So, uh, sorry to make you do this, Sol, but... <laughs> something sexy, you know? Something that really wows the boys. A flash of red lit up Sol's face and his jaw fell. So sexy. <laughs> I nodded. I meant it as a joke, but his reaction was so adorable that I couldn't help teasing him. Well, yeah, I might be unable to leave the mansion grounds, but that doesn't mean I cannot look stunning while I'm here. I flipped my hair for effect, though I imagined I looked quite silly. Sol didn't seem to notice, still flushed over my request. Well, I suppose, but are you sure, my lady? I grinned at Sol, nodding. I I'm sure I can think of something that you'll be happy with. I put a hand over my mouth, but I couldn't stop the laughter. <laughs> Sol just looked so cute. He wanted to make me happy, even though the suggestion made him super uncomfortable. Sol, I'm only joking. Any clothes you design for me will be perfect. Aww. Sol gave me a smile that looked much more relieved than his earlier one. I will have to think long and hard on what dress will suit such a troublesome princess. Princess? Whoa! Whoa! Oh man, Lily would be hopping mad if she was outside the door, probably. I kept my hand near my mouth, but this time to hide the blush flooding my cheeks. Princess? Mwah? 